Welcome everybody to the Level BF Grand Finals between Legacy and Nafu. Both teams have had a long six, seven, eight week journey uh, between the regular season and the playoffs to get here to this point. We are pretty much in the end game for Battlefield 4 competition before the release of Battlefield 2042 in October. I am your host and caster Gravity, along with my my great friend and co-caster Brett FX, and we are here to bring you this grand finals today. How are you doing, Brett? I am doing fantastic. <clears throat> Looking forward to today. Should be a really, really good match between both of these teams. We have seen just uh, absolute fantastic play throughout the season and, and throughout the playoffs as well. Uh, and uh, this is uh, culminating into uh, a two giants clashing we're gonna be seeing some really cool maps here tonight as well so uh both of these teams i think are gonna have uh some really good uh, i don't know about depth uh so to say because uh when we go over to map pool uh you know maybe it's not as diverse as we, we had in terms of vehicles but definitely going to be uh seeing some really good uh, uh map variations playing out absolutely and as for, for uh, just so everybody knows the maps today were decided by a team pick band system. Um, there are no set uh, matches like or maps like the regular week uh, regular season. Uh, the playoff maps are all decided by the teams in a pick band phase. And today the maps have been picked uh, as of 20 minutes ago. Uh, Golmud Railway will be the first map. Second map will be Hammerhead. And if a tiebreaker map is needed, that third map will be Zavad 311. Each team, so for the teams, for those of you who have never seen this 8v8 league before, we've got two great teams, as Brett mentioned, coming in here. First team will be Nafu, a very a European team, versus Legacy, a South American team. And both teams are fantastic. They both have a lot of history behind them, both extremely good. And just taking a look at the rosters right now, we've got for Nafu, we'll be starting on the RU side. Welcome everybody to the... Oh, no, 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 I just screwed that up. Um, uh, <laughs> um... Uh, for for Nafu, it'll be Neo, Audacious Potato, Nickel, Prolosco, Masteruski, Terex, Vencera, and Weshed. For Legacy, it'll be Fejo, Giro, uh, Infernus, Kawaii Cats, Loku, Brunwau, Siren, and Thunderblack. And these are the two teams that are going to be playing it out. And Brett, how are your predictions for Golmud? Uh, Golmud Railway? Man, I, I really don't know. Um... I would uh, I'd probably say Nafu on this one, um, just because uh, I feel like their vehicles are probably going to be a little bit better, uh, their, their tank play and uh, their jet. Uh, Legacy, though, you know, we've talked about their infantry being really, really solid. So if I think it really comes down to at this point, this stage in time, both of these teams can absolutely take this map, but it comes down to who's going to be able to get that Delta flag, yep. that Delta flag. So important. And so far this season, I believe that we have seen every team that has been able to capture the Delta flag in that round has been able to take the win in it. So uh, it does look like we have a slight delay. So there is a crash. It is before we have started the match out. So we are going to, I think, have a restart here. So it is not going to be live. But, you know, back to what I was saying, th that Delta flag, when it slides over to your side of the map. So those of you who may not be, <clears throat> I'm sorry, those of you who may not be, um, uh, you know, very familiar with Battlefield 4 and Goldman Railway and how it works, uh, that Delta flag is on a train and it does move to whatever side of the map uh, of the team that owns it. When that Delta flag has moved over to the uh, whoever owns its side, it is incredibly difficult for the other team to recap it and get it back over onto their side of the map. Because of that, it really allows the teams to be able to focus on that C, A, and B set of flags. And it allows your tank as well to be able to uh, have a little bit more freedom, I think, in, in where and how he wants to play it. He can play that C to Delta kind of uh, in between those two flags, just playing very defensively. Or he can get kind of aggressive and allow maybe some infantry players to spawn in over there once they see the flag flashing. So uh, you can get a lot more aggressive, I think, if you own that Delta flag. And you can make a lot more mistakes as well. Absolutely. So, And just the... that... Sorry, Brett. And just to, just to clarify here, for those of you that are just joining us and have never seen Golmud play competitively, the E flag is off limits, guys. Brett's uh, absolutely right. The D flag matters a lot, but the E flag in competitive play for Golmud does is completely banned, so you will not see any players going that way. Uh, looks like we've got one more round restart. 
before we go live. Tarek's back in the server. And also, for the rule set, um, there is one tank allowed per team, per side, and one attack jet. So we'll be seeing some jets on this map as well. Yes, uh, and that was the other thing that uh, I don't remember if you had man mentioned before, but the only air asset that is going to be allowed on this map is that jet. So uh, we're not going to be seeing any you know, crazy TVs all the way in the back of the map or, or uh, some, some really long-range harassment coming in from the guns. Uh, but that jet, and we saw it before as well with, uh, I believe it was, uh, was it um, uh, was it ESF uh, with Electrify? Yes. Yes. So Electrify, when he was when he was in, unfortunately, he had a, a, a an issue of some sort and wasn't able to finish out that that particular map. But when he was in, ESF was absolutely dominating in terms of the armor. There is absolutely nothing uh, that the tank could do in that situation. So that tank or that jet is going to be critical in being able to basically own the armor on the other team. Round has started. We are live on map number one, round number one. Up through this grand finals, we see Prolosco in the jet trying to get a laser guide on the initial jeep going to D. The Delta flag going to be the initial uh, main fight for this map. I, as I just realized, there is no attack jets. It is too... Uh, wow, there, there. Prolosco currently unopposed in the air right now. And the D flag is go, going to go, gonna have the fight begin. Loku versus Audacious Potato in the armor. Brunwell going to get behind Potato. No straw attempt just yet, but the potato does know that he's there. Jet, yeah, there's no jet right now for Legacy, although each team, Legacy gonna pick up the sea flag right off the bat. Giro gonna get on top of it. First in the building for Nafu. No damage to Giro, so he's just fine. And actually, actually, I think Giro is their normal jet pilot, so this is kind of surprising. You know, I don't disagree with this play right now coming in uh, for Legacy. They are going to be able to get that Delta flag for the time being. It's starting to slide over to their side. Uh, but they did tie up that tank for so, so very long. Now, here we come with the tank coming and getting aggressive. That's going to be Audacious Potato. He is able to get the kill, I believe, on it. So uh, it was short-lived, uh, but uh, definitely they did have it there for a little while. Now that Delta flag is going to be going back over into their favor. In the meantime, though, they Legacy did capture that Bravo side. They did capture C, so they will have that flag advantage for the time being. But I really, really think that they need to uh, make sure that they can get that recap on Delta because, again, it is such an important flag. And actually, the opening for Legacy was very, very different from the standard opening for most teams on Golmud. They didn't take a jet, and if they did, they bailed it super quickly. Gira was out of the jet immediately. The tank and most of Legacy went to the D flag. We did see Brunwell go around to distract Potato, which is great, but... Loku, even in the tank, had a secondary gunner full well knowing that he's going to have to help repair the tank from that uh, laser-guided missile barrage of the jet. So it's going to be... Uh, Legacy had a very strong opening. Unfortunately, they just uh, they just lost that D flag right off the bat, not too long after capping it. Ben Sarah going to climb the A flag. Only member of Nafu here. Now there's a second player on the flag radius. Legacy going to try to recap. One down below. And Sarah will find one kill on the Kawaii Cats. B flag looking fine for Legacy. A flag. Loku will move in against Nickel and Vencera. You know, in this situation right here, if Legacy is able to clear out this A site, which so far that they aren't successful of, uh, it would be as bad to lose that Delta flag if they were able to push them down, back down out of C. But with it being the way it is right now, Nafu looking like they are going to be able oh, to... Oh, Potato! Potato Delta will flag. fall. Potato getting beaten down mercilessly by a bunch of uh, Sraws and the tank shell at the A flag. So Potato will fall, the tank for Nafu will go down for about a couple seconds and unless he's just gonna roll up another, another one and that's exactly what he's gonna do. A and B flags for Legacy right now, C and D flags for Nafu. Meanwhile, there's another Nafu push coming around to the B flag. Loku's gonna have to back up there a little bit. Gonna have to help defend this flag as there's three infantry on this flag now for Nafu. Soon to be four, um. mine's getting dropped. Mm. That was close. I think one of them did actually uh, hit Loco right there, so he is going to be fairly damaged. But uh, we do have one player, still Terex, <laughs> up and alive. And uh, he has kind of trapped that tank back there, so that tank is going to be limited in his mobility. But uh, spawns are probably going to be coming back in. Yeah, they didn't even finish it. They didn't clear it off. Uh, so that's going to be another annoyance that they're going to have to deal deal with. But Nafu, I think, is doing really, really well right now, just spreading that legacy uh, infantry very thin. Siren finds a kill on the Master Ruski on the C flag. 
Neo's gonna come in to help defend. He'll be the only member of Nafu here. We'll clean up Manfurnus, but the flag not gonna go gray yet either. So Neo currently defending this flag. Tank from Potato in a position to defend the C flag as well, and that flag will be just fine. Three flag hold confirmed for Nafu, possibly a fourth. Legacy being stretched thin as the bleed will be applied against them for the first time this match. And this this is painful right now. It does look like both of the jets have taken themselves out, so there's not going to be any air on the uh, on the map for the time being. But yeah, this is uh, this is brutal. So you do see that three flag bleed coming in, and they are going to be able to even this back up again. Four flag not going to be happening just yet. Uh, Brunwout is going to be all the way down towards the south side of the map. He does get spotted out, but two infantry players are actually going to be coming all the way to Delta to deal with this. So if they can, if Legacy can time a push over here to A and get it fast enough. Uh, they might be able to get out of this bleed. And you did see Brunois put some slams down on top of the one Jeep over here, and that is essentially to stop any respawns over there. Uh, tour, you know, if they want to, if any infantry from Nefu wants to spawn on that Jeep, that'll be an instant explosion once they if they start moving. The trick old is time on on Golmud for sure. A flag now it has two members of Legacy. It's going to be Siren and Infernus as they push against the A, the A flag. Two infantry against two. Sra is going to go up between the building. Vincere are going to light up the side, and he'll fall to Infernus. Weshid G18 kill going to clean him up. Siren now one v one gets the kill onto Terex. Does he get the second? He does. So the flag yeah. will start going down, but I don't think I don't think he's going to have enough time before a respawn. He's actually going to no, be alone. His tank, his tank is going to be coming in though uh, for the help, so if they can they can uh, uh, you know get a couple of these respawns, take them down. They should be okay there. But um, I, I think that the biggest thing at the moment right now is just how bad is this bleed going to be before they can stop it? I mean, they haven't been able to neutralize Delta. They are trying to right now. C is just now starting to get about halfway grayed out. Uh, but I mean, that's that's a hefty amount of tickets here on gold mode. 50 tickets is not something to sneeze at. No, definitely not. Neo unfortunately spawned in the worst spot possible on the C flag. Master Ruski did spawn on the flag radius, but he is way outside the, the zone. And it looks like he had Vincera spawn on him again. Possible so slams for Master Ruski will kill Infernus. C flag gonna go for Legacy, so the bleed will be stopped. Now, Legacy with their bone bleed in return. C flag gonna get recapped immediately by Nafu, though, so that bleed won't last long. No, it is not. And I'm really curious to see where these tanks are gonna be coming in at. Um, they, We do see, it looks like uh, Loco trying to push down maybe into that Charlie flag, but immediately Adicious Potato, as he sees Delta getting flashed, he backs on out. So not going to be seeing him uh, engaging just yet with the armor, but back to a 2-2 flag standoff here. And uh, was that a... Uh, that was an IED. Yeah, that that yeah. was an IED who ended up getting that kill there. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're going to be in a, a weird standoff position here. Uh, we do see a flank coming up right here towards the north uh, for Nafu. And he is going to get caught out, I believe. Definitely out of position. Thunder Black keeping him pinned down with the DMR, and he's going to get the headshot kill onto Neo. Tank for Loku going to engage the other tank of Audacious Potato around the BC area between the flags, and it looks like Loku will get pushed back by several oh, I love it. We've got a, a Jihad Jeep from Broom finally starting to come on out. I think this is good. And uh, if he can if he can catch Potato here from behind, this is going to be huge. I don't think he's been spotted. He does now. Potato knows. Jihad's going to connect anyway. A flag under some significant pressure from Nafu right now. Question. Rose a kill onto Infernus. Uh, onto Infernus. Loco in the tank. And they jump on flag radius, and they're actually that, that's gonna stall the, the flag. So Weshid in trouble, along with the rest of members of Nafu, as Loku just gonna blast away at that building. Uh Pro Losco is back up in the jet, so Loco, he is gonna have to watch out for these uh Bombs are gonna be oh, down on. oh, the building came down, and Thunder Black gonna find the double kill onto it because he broke he broke the building. Ben Sarah hiding behind the corner, sneaking. It's a kill on a siren. Gonna hang out. Tarek's likely to be respawning. The flag not recapped yet for Legacy. Hank's still here. Loco searching for more. Potato around the corner. Vencera will get will die as well as uh, the tank gets hit once by a tank shell. The 
A flag finally back in Legacy's favor, even with Potato now being harassed by the Jet. And take a look over here on Delta as well. They're winning the bleed out. There's only one infantry play while they spawn in now, but uh, they have been able to gray that out. So that's a three flag cap going in. So now we're going to be seeing the bleed heavily in favor of Legacy. This is their opportunity to get back into the game, possibly even overtake Nafu here. Yeah, the push to the Delta flag there was absolutely critical. If anything, it just pulled two, two or three infantry back from Nafu and they lost the C flag in the middle of it. Bejo definitely going to fall here as uh, Vencera will jump off the... the, the the train bridge and uh, get back on it. And Nafu immediately raise out the sea flag as they redeploy. Infernus will die to Nickel. Another IED pops as Loku pushing pushing down towards the sea flag. And Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was that was that a straw? A straw just took out Jiro. So that is no jet that's going to be up there. Prolosco, uh, yeah. Yeah, Prolosco able to take him down. So that is a huge play right there. Just allowing Audacious Potato in this next engagement that's going to be coming in with the armor around C to be able to not have to worry about being harassed. New Jihad up from Brunwau. Vencera, Neo, Prolosco. Going to drive all the way around the A flag. Mine's on the road, not going to go near him. So Legacy going to... Well, yeah, Brunwau is definitely spotted this time. <laughs> yes, he is. Then he's going to turn around and go back towards the sea flag. Good decision. It's lit up a little bit. He's going to get shot in the back. Oh my god, he's still alive. Never mind. Yeah, he does get taken down. I think really right a now. Legacy on D. The flag will go gray. It's going to be Giro and Fajo again. Two, to two infantry to one. Now two to two as Ruski will spawn off of Weshid. If, if we can see Legacy clearing out over here towards the north side of the map, uh, these, these three infantry players, they'll be sitting in a pretty decent position. There's three uh, infantry now. To flood down in the sea. But yeah, the spawns are going to be coming on in. And up, oh, there is only one left. If they take down uh, Vincera, that's going to be huge here. The tank is also back on the D flag. So even though the D flag is going to rotate back over a little bit, it'll take a lot from Legacy to spawn in right now. And it's not going to happen. Waiting for that redeploy. Prolosco back up in the jet for Nafu. Loco has two mem two members of Nafu right behind him. They're not gonna. He's not gonna see it. He's gonna get obliterated from the rear. Sra from Nickel. Four infantry respawn there, and we're gonna have a two uh, a double push here. Is Legacy gonna push for C flag, and B flag gonna be pushed by, by Nafu with nobody yeah, to Nafu. counter is going for a double pronged attack. It looks like right now they're going for A and B at the same time. There's no infantry from Legacy uh, that are going to be up there to defend right now. So uh, maybe a little bit of a mistake there from Legacy, uh, just expecting that uh, they, they had cleaned everything back up. They will be able to get control of the C flag, but uh, wait, was that a tank kill? It, no, no, it wasn't, wasn't, but Prolosco did go for the jet ram attempt. Had a little bit of a looping between Giro and Prolosco. Prolosco saw the opportunity to to try for a jet ram, and unfortunately it was not successful. Brunwell going to fall from Asteriski on the B flag. Thunder Black and Lauku going to move into the flag radius, hopefully be able to stop him. Asteriski going to pop some smoke. Helps him out. Lauku sees him before the smoke takes effect. Looks like another push from Infernus on the D flag did fail. And Giro going to start hammering away at the tank with the laser-guided missiles. A flag, yeah. gonna get pushed by Legacy as well. Tickets 130 to 107, a pretty balanced game right now. Both teams slugging it out, and the bleed gonna go a little bit way the ways of Legacy. It looks like in, a, in about 10 seconds here, and they'll be able to oh. recoup. Loku does fall. Also, bring a new tank up. Yeah, Loku there, I think, bit off just a little bit more than he could chew. Does get surrounded and taken down. Now, uh, we do see the tank back up here. Audacious Potato already making his way back in. So it's going to be up to Giro, really, to, to try and, and help kind of, uh, you know, shoo away this tank over from this A and, and uh, B side of the map until they can get their backup tank back in here. But they have been able to drag these tickets down to a much more manageable level. 116 now to 102. Legacy still behind, but really not by as much as what it could have been. It was getting scary there for a little while, so good job for them being able to, to uh, drag it back to an even number. I'm actually a little bit concerned for Legacy right now as uh, Kawaii Cats will fall on the C flag, and that will be retaken by Nafu. They're going to reclaim the A flag as well, and the B flag, nah, B flag's fine, but there will be a three flag bleed against Legacy for a few more for a few minutes here. 
Unless they can make a serious push into the A flag again. Low coup. Finds a nice easy kill into Prolosco as Prolosco look, maybe looks <gasps> for a straw. Oh! Wow, Audacious Potato just ran over so many slams there and gets strawed out from Phasia. So there's no armor up there towards the north to help out with this, and that's immediately a gray onto A. Low coup, 4 H 14 HP will fall as well. Both tanks are going to go down. Now it's down to the infantry. Siren, shooting into the buildings. Going to run out of ammo. Wishid will clean him up. B flag going to go the way of Nafu, and they're going to swap the A for the B flags. B flag, nobody on it, as Giro and Prolosco going to go back and go back to looping. It looks like Prolosco with the significant advantage this time around. Giro down to 26 HP. Recouping it up a bit, though. See if either player if either player decides to go for another jet ram attempt. Terex and Infernus gonna meet possibly on the ways up between B and C. Breaking the wall. And yep, Infernus will find one. Terex will get the kill and also get the revive on a Weshit, so that'll be just fine for Nafu as they push back up into the A flag. Loco and Potato back both tanks back up towards the A flag. And Sarah and Phasio are going to fight one versus one on the flag radius. As Phasio will fall to Terex. Terex was in... Wow. Terex is actually pretty far south of the A-Flag and he got that kill. And you know, this is this is where it's so frustrating. To not have that Delta flag on your side of the map, you know. I know I talked about it a whole lot, but it really has given the opportunity for Nafu to just really not have to focus too much on... <laughs> oh, Prolosco! Head is plane disabled, but he's actually running fire extinguisher, so he's gonna keep on looping for a little bit. Even though he took a little bit more chip damage from Giro in the dogfight. Oh, it can go either way right now. Proloska will die, Giro gonna win the dogfight. And he'll be zooming in next for the tank. And immediately goes for that laser guide on the tank for Potato. APS will pop, so no damage for the time being, but no APS as well. A flag goes back gray in favor of Legacy. Siren hanging on to the flag radius with two other members of Legacy, and looks like they could get this flag. Siren seeing a member of Nafu from the north, but it'll be Kawaii Cats that gets the kill on the Terex. Tank. Also here, Potato still not taking enough damage. I feel like the Jet should be doing a little bit more. Loku also fighting 1-2-V-1. 17 HP, this tank is going to go down. Getting reps. Back down to 14. Now the 19. The Sraws aren't going to do enough damage to Loku. <laughs> the APS gets popped. Loku missing go, a very close shot. Potato coming on in, though. And he gets, he's going to get shot in the rear. New flank attempt by Infernus. This is actually beneficial for... Uh, Legacy right now is never mind. I was just gonna say it's actually really good that the tank didn't die while he's pushing. It's actually a bad thing if you take out the tank and make that D push at the same time, because all Potato's gonna do is he's just gonna respawn, take a new tank, and roll to the D flag, which is really, really close. So he'll be just fine. And I believe the D flag is gonna be fine for Nafu. I think the biggest thing right now is that Legacy just wanted to stop that bleed. You know, right now they lost B, they, they still don't have C. A is not looking too great right now. It is going to get grayed out, so it's going to give them a little bit of extra time to get onto another flag uh, to make sure that they can just, you know, keep this back to a 2-2 flag setup. 30 tickets so far uh, for the advantage for Nafu. Yeah, it's not that big of a it's not, not that big of a lead right now for Nafu. They're, all, they're only up 32 tickets with a three-flag hold. It's going to go a lot faster. Hero still harassing the tank. Going to mobility hit it for the time being as Neo is right next to Loco. C-Flag going to go back up for Legacy as well. So two flags to two. No bleed for the time being as we see Vencera waiting in the wings for the C-Flag. Waiting for a respawn as it happens right now. Going to hop on the flag radius right now as I believe that was Phasio. Gonna actually leave the flag and head towards D again. Are you really gonna run over these mines? You sure are. The nickel with the slams. Gonna stop that push right in its tracks. In the train tracks, if you will. Yeah, I kind of would like to see maybe less focus over here on the Delta. They, they were looking good on getting Charlie back. I would have liked to have seen staying over there. 
uh, making sure that they could secure that flag, get the full cap on it before they, they left it. Uh, they are going to go for another jet ram, it looks like. Um, that was not successful at all. Actually, was that on his own team? That, okay, that was weird. Anyways, Audacious Potato, he is going to have to back on out. A and B will be going over here towards uh, that legacy squad. <laughs> Giro, the only man who is uh, around on to see, he's going to be parachuting slowly, parachuting on in, and I think he has been spotted. He's been spotted by Potato as well, so the tank will be chasing him down. C flag will be just fine. Two flags are two, once again, as the tank for Natfu will push into the A flag as, as Natfu looks for that three flying hold once again. Potato, though, seven HP. He's just oh actually, yeah, he looks like he was looking for the for the trade off there, but Quiet Cats with the next straw, gonna get the kill onto Potato, so. Natfu gonna be down to tank for the next 10 seconds. Wait, as they wait for Natfu or for Potato. Kato to respawn and bring up the next tank. Loku slams oh. on the jeep, brings him down to 17 HP. He'll have to uh, sit the there. Good thing is, yeah, the good thing is though is that there's no nobody there to really you know capitalize on that situation. So he is going to be safe for the time being. But uh, right now it is 7340. So we need to really start seeing Legacy trying to uh, you know maybe get another one of these flags. I don't know if they want to to risk it. Maybe maybe they want to keep this kind of low 30 or so ticket uh, disadvantage going into the next um, next round. But, um, you know, right now, I think they need to just forget about going to Delta, focus in on these other flags, and just try and maybe uh, soak it down another 15, 20 tickets. Well, Brent, that's exactly what's happening right now. Is Fajo and Giro going to get on top of the C flag? They're going to get obliterated by Nickel and Wesh are going to respawn there. And the tank is also going to be there as well. So Legacy, like you just said, going to have to fight that two, v that two flag to two right now. And... I'd like to see them push more for the C flag. If they're going to make an attempt for D, this is a good time to do it, and Fejo smells that. As the tank for Potato, way up in the A and B flags. Prolosco going to engage Giro. Finds 36 damage into the into the Legacy's jet, and they're going to begin the looping process. Prolosco still running Fire Extinguisher, which is, you know, for comp-wise, it's actually a really good strategy. They're going to continue to loop for a while. We do see Potato pushing into the B flag. Legacy going to lose the flag radius for the time being. And wow, Potato got just nuked. I believe that was a straw from Siren. Right from the behind the tank. New infantry oh, oh. finds another one. Cyrus is going to clean that up so that he will be able to get that burn onto B, but at the same time, A gets cleaned up as well. So uh, or Vincera is going to be able to cap that over there for Nafu. So we're going to be seeing C and B going over to Legacy. Nafu holds on to Delta for the time being. It is going to be a 2-2 uh, standoff in terms of people onto the flag. The tank, though, will come on in, and uh, it's going to be able to, I think, lock this thing down. doesn't even need to. Burn route does get picked up, so... Uh, right now, it is looking like we are going back to that 2-2 standoff. Ooh, Losco went for a weird cut, and it actually kind of maybe cost him a little bit of the turn. Hero hot on his heels right now as he keeps chipping away at Losco. 16. A little more, more, more damage into the jet, and he's going to disable him. Oh, Pro Losco will fall, and Giro going to get the kill. So once you said, like, like you said, two flags to two. Legacy gonna push the A flag. They'll gray it out. Nickel gonna be against the tank over here on the A and the B flag. And Legacy looking like they're in a good position to help recap, a, you know, get the bleed back. It'll be up to Brunwau, wow, unfortunately. Uh, it'll be only up to Brunwau wow to help defend the C flag. So even though there's a three flag hold, it's not gonna last too long for Legacy. No, any, no. Any little but it bit helps gonna... though. It is going to be chipping that dan or chipping that lead away just a little bit. Would have been nice to have seen it hold on for a little bit longer. Uh, Brunwell though is going to be able to spawn back in with Phasia over here onto uh, C, I believe it is, and uh, they are not going to be able to do anything at all. At the same time, we do see B getting flashed down completely. So what looked like, I think honestly, that was probably Legacy's last opportunity to really take a good bite out of this lead. Uh, but. Um, hmm. They, wow. they still have a little bit left in them. Yeah. Legacy definitely have it in them. Do you remember last week's game against e, against uh, ES, uh, was it ESF? Or they or no? Who who did they beat? Coomers. <clears throat> Coomers. They beat Coomers. Coomers. That hate that that Hayling game where they came back yeah. and won by three tickets. I mean, they definitely have it in them. B flag. Going to be in furnace against two. 
Low health. Respawn's gonna come out for Legacy. And Furnace will fall. Thunder Black gonna get there. No respawn, uh, no revive for Legacy as Nickel will get the kill into Thunder Black. And the B flag gonna go the way of Nafu. Bruin Wow. Solo trying to cap the D flag and stop the bleed. Is it gonna be enough though? Nafu gonna respawn here. I don't think they're gonna be able to do it. Three flag holds gonna remain. That'll be the end of the round. 36 tickets to zero is your first round score for, for the grand finals. Yeah, that was that was solid play coming out from both teams. I just I think that um Wow, low cool. Forty two uh, and point. nine in the tank. Wow. Yeah, he was he was beasting it up. But then again, I mean, you not you got to give props there to uh, Euro as well because he uh, he did keep Potato, you know, he delayed him a lot on engaging into the middle of the map there uh, for quite a while. And and you got to give props to Potato as well. I mean, having the deal with the other armor and with the jet as well, he was still twenty nine eleven, so he was still putting up some really good numbers and being effective. Definitely. And I think this map, that round just goes to show you how important the D flag and that initial push is. Nafu barely had to commit too much effort to it, and it really is yep. a free flag hold um, once you capture it, because that thing, that, that sucker is so hard to bring back to the other side. And I love Legacy's opening. They tried something completely different than the normal routines. And it really kind of worked out for the, well for them. I think they just lost the amount of momentum on the D flag because it was going their way for a while. But once Loku went down to the to the amount of Sraz and Fu, I think they that's where they lost that push. Yeah, I, I think they I think they committed. They they at that point they were like, all right, let's go ahead and get these North flags, as opposed to spawn back in on C because at that time they had C as well. So instead of spawning back in on C, trying to flood back into Delta and and capture that back, they went ahead and went up towards the north. And I think. Had they have gone uh, more like, okay, let's give up A and B for now. Let's go ahead and just secure this Delta flag. I think they would have brought, probably been better in the long run. But uh, we'll see if they make the adjustments coming out for this next round. Um, if they're going to be able to win over onto that Delta flag or not. Uh, if uh, you know that those armor pieces are going to be doing a little bit more damage. We'd be curious to, to see how Gino and Prolosco are going to be uh, winning out. Because I believe... If I'm not mistaken, Prolosco did win initially in that jet fight at the very beginning. So that also had an effect uh, with how Legacy was going to be able to deploy and move around the map as well for the first probably minute or so. Absolutely. And just to give a, uh, an answer to the question that popped up in the chat, as to which teams picked which map. Nafu did pick Golmud. The second map, Hammerhead, is picked by Legacy. And that last map, of course, being the tiebreaker was Zavad. So immediately following this round, we'll be going heading over to Hammerhead, where each team is going to fight dirty over that uh, that ice island inside. You know, that's that's another good point, too, to bring up that this isn't even Legacy's pick, right? Now, I, I, at this point in you know point in time, both of these teams, they're absolutely capable of playing on any of these maps. You're going to have you know some of them that they're not as comfortable with, but they're, they're all really great teams. But it is something to point out that this was not Legacy's pick, and they were still able to take it down to 36 tickets. So uh, it was by no means a blowout. You know, it's not like what we we were seeing uh, last week on some of those maps where uh, they weren't getting their pick, and all of a sudden they were losing by like 100 tickets or something. So it's very, very nice to see Legacy being able to keep it as close as they have been able to keep it so far. And again, it's just going to be coming out to what kind of adjustments are they going to come out for two? Are they going to be trying to go heavily for that Delta flag? Maybe they're going to be able to get that jet down right away at the very start. Um, now, now that I'm thinking back on it, uh, you were right. It wasn't. It was a weird breakout that we did see. So there was no jet coming in initially for Legacy. Are they going to, you know, kind of go back to maybe a traditional breakout? You know, so a lot, a lot of different things that Legacy I think can do to maybe um, give them a a little bit more of an advantage here in the second round. Both teams calling live. 20 seconds on the clock as we begin round number two of this grand finals on Goldman Railway. Legacy, now going to be taking the RU side. Chinese side will be taken by Nafu. Both teams going to make that initial push up, and we'll have to check the Jets again to see if, if, they're going to, if Legacy are going to go without the Jet, and not this time around. Hero going to head straight for him. As the Jeeps will rush in towards the D flag. Prolosco not going to go for that push towards the 
For that laser guy this time around. Both jets gonna collide and both will ram. Prolosco will die as well. If it looks like he maybe he tried to go for the bail off at the right time again, not gonna connect. Nickel swings around behind Legacy in the Jeep. Finds one kill into Siren. A huge pickoff right off the bat. Finds a second kill into Thunder Black. Can he get a third? Looking. Is there one more member of Legacy there? No. Nafu has cleaned up the D flag immediately. Loku this time gets swapped and, and surrounded and gets a rear shot. And by, by Prolosco, who brought the Jeep around, it looks like he respawned off a of Terex. So, Ter so it was Terex or Neo that brought the, the, uh, the Jeep around. Mobility hit on the tank. Loku will be disabled. Audacious Potato from the corner is going to come up behind him and Loku will fall immediately. C flag. Gonna be pushed heavily. Legacy will claim it, but Nefu is gonna push really hard into it immediately from following the D cap. Yeah, you know the only thing I think that Legacy can hope for right now is to just go ahead and and try and hold this three flag cap for as long as possible. Get out to about be a 50 or 60 ticket advantage, and then play from there. Because losing that Delta flag again, they're gonna be at a disadvantage. But we're already seeing those rotations coming back out for Nafu. Nice job so far here from Legacy on being able to just claw their way on to C, but they eventually just oh, get overwhelmed. Oh, there's so I mean, many, yeah. Yeah, Legacy. the entire team, except for one, was literally on C. And they did a really good job so far. Kawaii Cats will fall. Legacy need to make another new rotation. And we see Broom Wow. Broom Wow is going to be the rotation on the top of the, 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 uh, the D flag now. Maybe help stall it out. If he can at least stall it and recap it, maybe the D flag will at least be, you know, Pushed and recapped a little bit before it gets to that final destination on Nafu's side of the map. Loku with a new tank gonna roll into the A flag now as it's getting pushed by Nafu. Flag will go gray. Looks like Siren will fall to Neo. He's the only member of Nafu on the A flag. B flag also gonna get pushed by Nafu as well. And it looks like Burnwell did die on the D flag, unfortunately, so that is a solid D flag for Nafu. Yes, it is. Now, we do see the Jets. They are going to be both out. So whoever wins this fight might be able to help out. Actually, Prolosco, he's going for a Jet Ram right now. It looks like potentially, yeah, he is going to be out. And I don't know if he did any damage with that or not. But uh, no Jet is going to be up for the time being uh, for Nafu. But do they really need it at this point? I mean, honestly, they have a really good bleed going on over here onto Bravo. Their armor is already there as well. They're winning it out. There's a the three flag cap that's going to be coming on in. So... This is this is looking fantastic right now for Nafu. Absolutely. And you know, we've, we've said it time and time again on, on Golmud Railway, being down in the jet, having that jet down, is not necessarily a disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. your tank might get harassed a little bit, but uh, Loku's having a really good time um, having Thunder Black repair him. And most of their each team is engineers, so it's not like the tank is going to be... You know, completely out of reps, even though you're you're getting harassed all the time. But having that extra player on the ground that can also be there to help the help help the AT movement, that can swing around with jeeps and help recap flags, is actually at a huge advantage to not being in the air. Prolosco gonna get we pushed. Did. We did see the armor going down for Nafu <gasps> though. Prolosco was watching the staircase over the over the A flag, and he turned around the last second, and Infernus climbed up right when he looked away. Three flag hold for Nafu as Legacy gonna start bleeding out 196 to 222. Oh no. Oh no. Possibly a four flag cap. That infantry is doing so much damage right now. Nickel gonna swing around Loku. Gonna get a rear shot. 45 damage into the tank. Loku looking for a help. Not gonna connect. Not gonna, no help found. Nickel. Sitting in the pothole, just trying to cap the flag. Looks like he'll be fine. Legacy gonna be... Now, well, it'll be 2v1 now, so Nickel gonna be with 8 health. 8 health not gonna be uh, able to do too much now. And that, that is one of the uh, that is one of the funny, <laughs> kind of quirky things on Golmud and Zavod uh, that I've noticed as a caster is that, uh, you know, when you do enough damage onto the ground, you do have those kind of potholes, those divots that infantry players can kind of get into. And uh, if they're smart, it is really hard to fish them out of there. Nice pick up there from Nickel once again. Nickel, just he hasn't right died. Now. He was down to yeah, 8 he HP. He, he found one kill, and then he just found a second onto Kawaii Cats. The man is just an A-flag menace right now. Oh, and he pops the IED, looking for the kill. Sra on to Brun. Wow, Nickel with an awesome play so far. 
Yeah, that's this is this is utter domination right now coming in from Nafu. They they are playing with their food in round number one as we see 133 now to 215 legacy, the biggest deficit that we have seen so far, and it is just growing even more. Finally, we do have Delta getting grayed out. C is starting to get contested, but I think the damage right now might just be too great. Legacy, as you said, they are a team that can absolutely make that comeback, but man, it's going to be rough. Loku currently sitting on top of the A flag with one other member of Legacy, but they're not, they're not even capping the flag. There's just too many members of Nafu here. And now with finally a respawn, Nickel going to try to rush right up to the tank. Loku will get back in just in time. And now Legacy going to grab the D flag. But there's a lot of members of Nafu here, including the tank. So Potato, watch below. I'll get the kill into Kawaii Cats from above. And D-Flag going to go back the way of Nafu. Legacy going to take the C-Flag that's gonna, at least going to stop the bleed. As A-Flag will also go back up their way. Nickel. Hang it out. We'll die. And the tank will... Okay, so tank, A-Flag, and C-Flag are currently fine for Legacy. Giro and Perlosco going to loop around again. Both jets are going to be up. Jet Ram attempt from Perlosco. This time it's successful. So, you, you know, I, I honestly, I like the fact that Prolosco, he's not, he's not necessarily, I don't know if he just doesn't feel like he can win against Gino. Ooh, another jet is. ram. Oh, nice. This time, Potato will fall. So, yeah, we're just seeing crazy <laughs> plays. But, you know, Prolosco, he pretty much has just been like, okay, you know, I'm going to do maybe a little bit of chip damage to the jet. If I doesn't look like I'm going to be able to win the fight, I'm just going to go for the tank. I'm just going to straight up try and take out the tank and be done with it. Respawn and help out my uh, teammates somewhere else on the map. I, I love that kind of mentality. And actually, Brett, you know, you know, the interesting thing is we've casted this map once, or, once during the regular season. We've casted it at least two or three times during the playoffs. And this is the first time we've actually seen multiple jet rams uh, attempted during a match. So both teams uh, are really fighting dirty going for it. It's definitely the first time that we've seen uh, Jet Rams back to back from one from each team and they're successful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Loku in a position to push the B flag right now as Potato had to deal with the a D flag push. Legacy might be able to get a three flag hold. They're 89 tickets down, a significant disadvantage. Not the worst in the world. They can come back. They could come back, but they need to hold a three flag and bleed for at least two to three minutes to make up for this round. Absolutely. And we yeah. are going to be seeing... Oh, yeah, they're, they're leaving that C flag. And I like this. I think that's going to be Nickel down there uh, throwing down some mines over onto Delta. So they spot out the Jeep. He's going to have absolutely no chance whatsoever. So, yeah, that, that's a nice little uh, cover there. But we do have some reinforcements coming back down onto that C flag right now. Uh, Brunwout is going to be leading that charge. He does get picked up. That's Four infantry open it up. there. Yeah, for the infantry players and the tank to be able to push away Lokau. Yeah, Brunwout gets put in, killed immediately. Kawaii Cat's going to respawn on the tank. Loco just going to get pushed by Prolosco, and uh, that'll be the end of that. Is Giro back up in the jet? No jet back up for Legacy, or excuse me, for Prolosco. Actually, that's Giro in the jet. I wonder if that was a Prolosco jet ram immediately after. We do have a Jeep now circumventing all of these infantry players going out into Delta. You know, with all of these players now out in the open over here towards the south, Jet, is he going to try and maybe uh, go for a couple of those infantry players just focusing on the tank? Uh, looks like that's what he is going to be doing. But Legacy, where are they spawning? Three players spawn in the south. They're all over the place I right now. I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> D-Flag will go gray. Kawaii Cats gets dropped off by Brunwau. He'll be there. Fajo solo capping the C flag. The infantry are scattered all over the place right now. Terex, two versus one on top of the A flag. Tank gonna show up as well, so Terex will be in some trouble. One versus one on the opposite building with the tank there, and Furnace will get the kill, and, and, and the incendiary would have popped him anyway. A flag will be retained by Legacy for sure. C flag gonna go the way of Legacy. D flag gets picked up by Legacy. Audacious Potato there to help recap. Legacy theoretically could have a three, three flag hold and maintain it for a little while here, but they have to hold the D flag. This is gonna be I like big. This. 
We've got an infantry player spawning over on the Delta. He is going to be able to stall out this burn. So that that whole time this is happening, that train is moving back over to the other side of the map. So 78 tickets left. They absolutely can get it on their side and start kind of climbing back into this game. They do lose A, though. So they're not going to have any presence over there towards the north, except for one infantry player who is basically all on his lonesome. If he gets fished out here, it is going to be a lot tougher for them to get back into those top two flags. And the train going to continue as we see Infernus dropping a bunch of mines below the train track, looking for some kills on, or some damage on this tank of potato. Meanwhile, A and B flag going to go the way of, of Nafu. So two flags to two still. And remember, we see a Legacy with 72 tickets, but that is actually incorrect. They really only have, you know, uh, uh, yeah, 30 true. or so to, to work with because they have only 36 tickets from the last round. Remember, in playoffs, tickets are not necessarily as important as just the map win. They do not carry over to the next round, unlike the regular season. And Yeah, very true. Uh, so we do see the tank going down right now for Nafu, but that flag does get grayed out onto Delta. A lot of players are going to be spawning Ooh. back in to try and take it. They do get it, but they lose the progress that they had made over onto Bravo. That does get recapped by Nafu. So it's going to be crunch time right now. I and think... I think I think Once Legacy are in a hugely in a great position right now. Oh, as long as the tank goes to A and they get this flag, we see Potato is going to have to push either the D or C flags. D flag is now back in the middle of the map. It's definitely going to go back towards Nafu or towards Legacy spawn. I think Giro, if he went for a good jet ram right now on Potato, I think it would be huge for Legacy. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, well, we do see Prolos go back up, though, as well. So he is There's going to a jet ram. a jet ram, and he connects that is a heartbreaker follow right up there. jet ram from from gear but he misses potato that is huge also uh nickel on top of the d flag neo spawns on top of him legacy has to defend the d flag even with the bleed on the on that food right now they need this flag so so badly but low coup in a good position to drive right towards the d flag we see two infantry respawn a third one from c as kawaii cat's gonna drop down he's got an infantry right on his left and he'll die immediately to neo yeah, like I said, that's that's a heartbreaker right there. Delta is going to go back over into the favor of Nafu off of that. And uh, that bleed potentially going to be restarting here on A as it is getting capped back over. C is right for the picking as well. So Legacy, I think they're just a little bit... Uh, they don't really know where to go. They're, it's a little bit chaotic in their spawns and where they're positioning their players. And I like the fact that Loku just went back up for the A flag. He, he kind of just said whatever to the D flag. There were so many infantry from Nafu there, and Potato actually rotated his way, way, way over there as well. So there was almost no way that Naf that that Loku could have possibly taken the D flag, even with a little help. Yeah, that Delta flag was was gone. It, it was gone. Four infantry players in a tank. Pretty much just leave it alone. And Legacy can make another attempt towards it. I think the big thing is, do they push for B right now? And I think that's what the plan's going to be. Loku immediately gets hit once. Sra's going to come out like crazy. Finds one kill onto Terex. Infantry for, for Nafu up in the high ground. Another kill into Vencera. Tank immediately behind Loku. He's just going to bail the tank and he'll, free, and he'll just stay alive. Nope, he'll fall immediately. Siren going to look for a small attempt onto, onto Potato. He's the last man alive. Now we have a respawn on him. 10 tickets are left right now for an opportunity for Legacy to try and still take this map to 137 of Nafu. This is not looking good whatsoever. We do see that second attempt over there onto Delta. It, it should be getting cleaned up here very quickly, but I think this right here is the nail in the coffin for map number one. Yeah, Legacy does not have many tickets to work with, and remember, every time they respawn, they lose another ticket. So the big thing is, they really have no place to rotate as well either. Nickel finds a kill onto Phasio, Kawaii Cats goes down to Neo up in the A flag, then Sarah alive kills Brunwau, and this is pretty much going to be the end of the round. C flag going to be taken by Nafu, and with this cap, the bleed will end the round. Yeah, that was a that was a valiant effort there from Legacy. You know, them being able to get that Delta flag. That's actually the first time uh, this season that we have seen the Delta flag getting recapped and actually making it towards the other end, like that halfway point 
towards the other end of the map. So props to them for being able to get that far. Just unfortunately, you know, I think that the Prolosco uh, hit onto the, uh, to the tank at that particular time, the fail there from Gino. That really hurt them as well. Had that been swapped, we see Gino being able to successfully hit connect. Prolosco's not. Uh, we're probably looking at a slightly different round right here. At the very least, I think that we're potentially seeing, you know, maybe another 50 to 60 tickets being drained off of Nafu before uh, Nafu is able to get that underneath, uh, under control. But overall, I mean, Nafu, this, uh, you know, this second round, I think really shows why they picked Goldman Railway. Absolutely. They were very, very confident in their, in their strategies. Legacy went for something very different off the start and actually made it work for a little bit. Uh, I, I I very much approve of doing something different. And it looks like, I mean, there's the Loco once again going 26 and 7, having another good tank round, even with the Jet Rams. Tato going 14 and 6 in his own tank. And with 14 tickets left, we'll be switching to the next map soon. Now, map number one has been taken by Nafu. Hammerhead is your next map, and we'll be loading into that shortly. Yeah, Hammerhead's going to be a good one. There it is. We'll be swapping up next. All right, so uh, with this next map coming on in, we were talking a little bit earlier before uh, Gravity about who we kind of favor on this map. Uh, although I do want to mention, before we get into that real quick, uh, guys, we do have some announcements that are going to be happening at the end of the cast. So when this cast is done, don't go anywhere. Definitely hang around. We have uh, one of our admins from Level that's going to be coming in and talking about some future uh, events and some future um things that are going to be happening uh, throughout this summer. So definitely stick around for that. And of course, make sure you guys do hit that follow button down below and make sure you share this out there. Right now we're sitting at about 250, 260 viewers. Let's see if we can't crack 300, maybe get a little bit more uh, in here for this grand finals match. Both of these teams doing a fantastic job putting on a good show for us as well. So let's try and get in front of Minnie's eyes as possible. But um, back to Hammerhead here. Now, uh, Gravity, we were, we were talking about, you know, where do these teams, where are they going to be really looking strong? And I, I have to, to kind of agree with you. I think that Legacy, I think their infantry is going to be able to stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, if not maybe a little bit more there in that B and C section of the map. We've seen them before. Legacy, extremely strong, extremely strong there in the middle. They've been able to push out. I think every time that we've seen uh, them play that map, uh, they, they've been pushing out the, the, the players there. There has no, no chance whatsoever. And then it's just really up to how they want to play the outside of the map. Definitely. And I just want to give one more shout out to the stuff, to the announcements we're going to be speaking to later. Um, if you guys didn't know, um, for, as far as the announcements goes, even you, if you are not a competitive Battlefield player, we have some events coming up that even you might be interested in playing if you kind of want to have some good, fun, coordinated gameplay uh, with, with other people. We've got some great community events that you can be a part of, play with and against other certain uh, pro players, pro Battlefield players. That'd be a great experience for everybody. Um, so just, yeah, tune in definitely after the, after the, uh, the match, after the Grand Finals end. Um, to answer your question, Brett, uh, Hammerhead is definitely a map where infantry matter so, so, so much. And as far as the balance goes, we see Legacy has a great group of infantry. And quite frankly, it'd be very interesting to see if they'll be able to hold the BNC flags inside. Hammerhead is a map where each team gets one tank and a few jet skis and that's or snowmobiles and that's about it um we'll see the tank um come out of their main there each team is allowed one tank at a time there on the d and a flags there is a hover tank that spawns there the, these are banned of the rules so we will not see any hover tank action at all much to my dismay each team will likely be sending infantry uh straight down the middle to get towards the c flag and maybe a rotation down the back alleyway into the mountain of b Infantry, generally speaking, have we we generally see about five versus five infantry between the B and the C flags. <laughs> well, you know, one of the things that I would kind of like to see in B and C is it, actually which match was it that we saw um last time to where i was i was mentioning was it coomers that did it where they they actually pushed towards the uh south side of b like the the 
the west side of B and uh, entered in from that angle as, as opposed to going all the way around for a push towards that A flag? I believe it was. Um... Yeah. So, and I thought it worked really well for him. And, and I kind of, I, I think maybe if we see some something like that coming out from one of these teams, that would be really good. Kind of throw a little bit of a, a wrench there in the mix. I'm trying to figure out what what server option they have on that the RU team is, is, is there instead of the U.S. side. Because it should be U.S. versus RU. So, the flag spawns are a little weird right now. But they'll get it fixed. There we okay. go. RU versus RS. That's how it should be. So anyway, yeah, we generally see five versus five infantry between the B and the C flags. And um, friendly notion that the fact that is uh, Hammerhead is probably the map in the pool where infantry have the likelihood of having the highest amount of kills in in in, the, in a round than any other map in the pool. And the simple matter of the fact is. Um, they're going to be playing infantry the entire round. It is pure aggression, and they're going to be constantly going between these two flags, trying just all game, high adrenaline, trying to make sure that these flags are attacked and defended. Meanwhile, about two infantry plus the tank, well, you'll see them rotate between the A and the D flags um, consistently. Sometimes the A flag, sometimes the tanks defend, sometimes, sometimes they go around the ice, other times they go around the back, yeah, the back, uh, the back road. But it will see some rotations. A lot of rotations come out between those that, that, that group of three. And it kind of just yeah. depends on which team, which players they decide to do it. As we can see, we've got a couple different infantry loading in for Legacy. Douglas will be a replay, uh, 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 swap in for Legacy. Waiting on one more for Legacy. Meanwhile, I see Emmy loading in for Nafu. I'll have to see what role he takes. Well, we all know that Brun Wow is like... That guy just goes for flanks all day long, right? Yes. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how he, you know, ends up going for the, his flanks, especially with, um, you know, his uh, jihads. I want to see if they uh, maybe kind of go off a little bit faster because a lot of times you do see teams waiting in toward, you know, towards more of the middle of the map before they decide uh, to go for those jihads. Maybe if he goes a little bit earlier, take down the tank, see how that kind of plays out. But obviously it all depends on how the armor is going to be playing out towards the outside anyways, if he actually needs to do that or not. But um, yeah. And uh, you know, the, I am curious to see what the, the, the breakout is towards the middle. We're going to see some more LNG action right from the start. Um, I believe, uh, was it legacy that was doing that last time as well? Uh, I believe just, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jumping on the back of the, uh, the snow snowmobile and just, laying down LNG ESF. Fire. <laughs> ESF in particular has a habit of doing that. They did it so well uh, on their rounds. Yeah. Yeah. I believe ESF definitely played uh, Hammerhead last week. Also, uh, so speaking of ESF, uh, for, for the reminder, guys, tomorrow, uh, unexpectedly, we didn't know if it was going to happen or not, but there will be a third and fourth place match between Coomers and ESF. Um, so that'll be taking place tomorrow at about 3 p.m. Eastern time right here on this channel. So if you're interested in seeing the third, fourth place outcome, tune in for that, and we'll be here casting the final match of the season. Yes, Wait. indeed. Still Hopefully waiting. I'm going to be able to make it. I, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Still waiting on a member of Legacy to load in, and once that he's uh, in here, we'll be getting ready to go. So after what we just saw there on Goma Railway, both these teams getting warmed up. Um, you got to think that uh, they got all the jitters out of them. <laughs> who do you who do you think is going to be taking this map? Just just straight up, you know, just off the top of your head, who's going to take it? I honestly, so here's the thing. I hope Legacy take it just so we go to a third map, but that's just me. Um, I think I, Legacy is definitely strong enough to do so. I think they have enough, enough experience on this map to do so. I feel like Potato has a lot more experience tanking on this map than Loku does, though. So I think this map can go either way. But remember, this is Legacy's pick, so maybe they might have something up their sleeve. Their sleeve. I'm gonna go for Legacy here. We're gonna we're gonna go with the uh, the good old South Americans, and uh, we're gonna see a third map for sure. So you know, let, let's uh, let's all see some some legacy hype in there. If you're a legacy fan, if you're a Nafu fan, well, you know, 
they're going to lose. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see some hype there in the chat for these players, for these teams. Uh, they are putting on one hell of a show so far for us today. And uh, we'll see if we're going to be able to continue that here. Obviously, we will. But uh, what it is, we don't know. And uh, hey, let's hope that at least one of these tankers uh, falls into the water, because I would love to see that. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, for those of you that don't that have never played Hammerhead before, as you can see, the snow kind of dissipates right over here by the tunnel, and this is all ice. Um, and all of this ice here between this tunnel and to the other side can be broken, and it's just water underneath. And, you know, a great thing that most teams need to be able to do is to at least C4, put mines down, break the ice in the entrance of the other team's tunnel, and that will prevent the tank from coming in and uh harassing the other team or your or or your team as uh as you're pushing between the b and c flags that's a huge thing you want to get that explosion you want to get the ice broken as far away from the entrance as you can and uh seems teams sometimes forget to do it um and i am big I'm very very critical of teams that don't do it because it is it's a huge disadvantage if the enemy tank could just waltz right out right up under you and and yeah. take some do some serious damage i agree i absolutely agree and uh, we do see some teams, though, that uh, kind of delay that just a little bit. And they actually allow their tank to get a little bit aggressive towards the middle as well. Yes, uh, I did see that a couple of times. But eventually you should see that ice being broken and taken down, because as you said, it's it's not really uh, that advantageous to leave up for the entirety of the match because you do leave it open for the other team to be able to make use of it. Um, but here we go. I think we're going to be having a restart. And uh, we should be going live here in this next um, next one. But uh, yeah, let's see if uh, Legacy is going to be able to continue on and uh, take it to a third map. Or is Nafu just going to be able to clamp down and uh, take this in a 2-0 fashion as the champions here of this season? Both teams have done a double re uh, round restart. And like I said, we have Emmy loading in as a swap for replacement f uh, um, for Nafu. And Douglas, and it's going to be Lucas loading in for Legacy for their for their infantry play. Both teams calling good luck, have fun as we start map number two of this grand finals. And the clock has started. 40 seconds. Will we see the infantry rush in and get some uh, back of the snowmobile kills with the, with the, with the MGs, with the LMGs like we normally see? Will we see tanks initially start to push towards the A and D flags around the flanking routes? Will we see people infantry meet on the peninsula with their snowmobiles? Hammerhead is a fantastic comp map. Um, we've seen this time and time again. A lot of the teams, sometimes some of the teams are a little indifferent towards it, I think, as far as a competitive map goes. Hammerhead is literally one of the best in the pool. Yeah, it really is a shame that uh, we didn't start playing these a lot earlier on in Battlefield's life cycle when the, when the DLCs first dropped than what we did. But uh, we are going to be getting this thing a rolling. Obviously, standard breakout so far with snowmobiles and tanks getting this thing uh, started. Legacy and, with two uh, snowmobiles, Nafu with three out. And there it is. We see Emmy with the with the support kit, so we'll take keep an eye on Emmy as he pushes down into the tunnel as the spectator position of the snowmobile or, or the uh, of the LMG going to be really rough. Tarek's going to bail out and just let him go through. Anybody there to stop him? Oh, he's going to go nice. prone. All right, so Legacy just got taken out on the peninsula, so that is going to be a full Nafu. What the heck uh, was this? Did I see a snowmobile kill on the northern side? I have no what idea. What is this see that. opening from Legacy? Uh, but Legacy got completely demolished there towards the uh, the south on B. So that was a Nafu all the way. And they are. Yeah, they're going to be in the worst pace position possible. Take a look at them coming down the elevator shaft here. Lucas is going to be coming on in immediately just gets drenched with bullets. He, <laughs> this is terrible. They're trying to find every nook and cranny to stay alive. Douglas somehow has managed to get at least a little bit further on in towards the tunnels. A lot of smokes and wow, they actually are able to get this push and towards the, the flag itself. Well, that is we'll see. Nickel finds two Vincera there as well. Lucas, the last one alive for Legacy, hiding in the smoke. Oh, Lucas, don't push in yet. 
Just hide. Lucas, just hide. You need your team to respawn on you. No, Legacy! They're gonna respawn squad bomb the A flag. Kawaii cats. It looks like Legacy got dropped off by the tank. Loku now gonna push into the A flag now. Potato. Eats one shot from the tank. Brunwell and Fejo fall. It's just gonna be Loku. Finds a kill into Master Ruski. Fejo respawns on the tank. Gonna help against Potato. A few mines down on the flag. Loku does see them. Brunwell will respawn as well. Potato hit again as, he, as, as he's out repairing. It's a second shot from the left. APS pop for Potato. Potato gonna go down. A flag in trouble for Nafu. B flag taken by Legacy. Huge Legacy turnaround right now. They've grayed out yes, the A is. flag, but Fe oh, Loku needs to stay alive. Fejo should just rep him. He's gonna get repped right now, it looks like, by Brunwell. And Legacy with a three flag wow. hold somehow out of that crazy opening for them that looked absolutely terrible. Kawaii cancel go down to Weshit on the inside. Legacy gonna hold this three flag <laughs> bleed for a little bit. They're down 25 tickets, so they're gonna have to hold it for a little bit at least to catch up. Man, there for a second, they were looking like they were gonna possibly clear out that C flag. Uh, obviously they didn't, but that would have been massive to get that four flag clean off, uh, push them all the way back over into their spawn. But so far, getting back this three cap, it was looking bad. 40, 45 tickets, I think they were down at one point, but now only about 20. Uh, they should be able to even it up before this flag ends up getting neutralized, I believe, uh, as the oh. tank is gonna be rotating back on in. Nice job there from Douglas, still gonna be staying up, getting those kills for that defense of that B site. And we've talked about how hard it is to try and cap B. So Nafu probably kicking themselves a little bit <laughs> oh, for Terex. giving up that flag. Derex finds the double on the B flag, and Nafu having a little bit of a hard time get recapping the A flag. Loku's still here along with two infantry, and like I said, this is gonna be, oh, he'll go down just to Neo Straw. This is a huge bonus right now for Nafu. Meanwhile, possible trade between the B and C flags. Emmy gonna go 1v1 against the uh, Kawaii Cat's gonna die. It's the revive on Nickel, C flag gonna flip. Vencera in the hallway dies immediately. So we will see a two flag swap. And a two and a half, I guess, if you count the A flag as well, as Phasia will fall to, to, uh, to Audacious Potato. That was a crazy turnaround. And look at the tickets, Brett. 193, 192, yep. we are completely dead even again. Yeah, that uh, legacy was able to just basically take it back to a fresh start. And uh, this is pretty standard now. All of a sudden, you know, this is this is what we were typically seeing in a breakout. So everything that Nafu gained at the very beginning and everything that Legacy was able to, you know, regain after that, well, it's pretty much just reset here. So no team is going to be able to get too much of an advantage. <laughs> nice job here so far with the hold from Nafu as that we do see Douglas, Douglas. with a G18. You can't be doing that with the pocket shotty, man. Uh, Fejo actually finds a rear shot onto Audacious Potato in the ice. He's currently down to 16 HP. Gonna pop APS. Oh, finds a headshot kill into Brun. Wow. And wow, he actually, really... he's actually gonna hold the flag just by that long range HMG. And and the really, really, really fast transition up to that C flag right now coming in from Nafu. They trapped him inside the tunnel with those spawns, and then you even got a guy coming in from the backside to take him out. That was beautifully played there from Nafu. I love Potato's position here. He knows Loku is going to come to the ice right now and going to sort of maybe rotate a bunch of infantry out, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Siren is currently in the squad, and I would like to expect to, I would expect to see him spawn in the tank, because Legacy currently have nothing on the on, on the island. I don't know where they're going to go. Siren's going to. Are you really going to go the long way? Legacy again. It's possible some trouble. Fejo has mines out. Not a good idea. Master Ruski will fall to Brunwell. Hank still back here as. Oh, Legacy, don't go that way. That's a terrible way to open, to go in this. No. And Sarah, Terex, Terex finding a double kill with a Siren and uh, Kawaii Cats. Infernus finding his own double kill into Vencera and Emmy. As Legacy, will they get in? Lucas sneaks in. Infernus goes the other way. Legacy gonna split up infantry. And Brett, you know what I just noticed? Remember the last couple weeks we've been watching this map being played and some of the infantry have kind of been running like off meta weapons? Yeah, that mm -hmm. ain't the case this week. This is all Scar AEK Ace-23. This is meta into the point. This is Grand Finals, serious business. The infantry aren't t aren't fooling around. 
Yeah, take a look at this tank battle right now that's going to be developing here. Low cloud actually losing the fight right now. He does go down, but his infantry player has spawned out. Oh, he gets taken out as well. Phasia not able to do it. And oh my god, Potato so low. About one more straw. Probably could have been able to take him down, but uh, not going to be the case there. Meanwhile, the flag did go for Legacy, though. Brunwell on it. This raw out on the side. We'll find a kill into Nickel. Does there more? The tank will be coming back any second. Oh, <laughs> Potato gets the double kill into Brunwell and Fazio from the ice. Legacy with a three-flag hold. They're going to need it. They're, they are down in tickets, but Potato's going to get back up here and uh, recap the flag. Fazio with a terrible spawn on the, on the, on the, on the little island on the ice. And he's just going to get picked up immediately by Master Ruski, who sees him coming. Yep. Yeah, you got to think, though, you know, if it wasn't for Potato right now, uh, Legacy might just be, you know, in the lead and maybe even uh, a pretty good lead at this point in time. I mean, he has been able to really hold down that A site and make sure that they are not going to be losing it or at the very least losing it for too long. Well, that's what I was just saying. I feel like out of all the tankers in the league, maybe except with the exception of Calzaghi, I think that Potato has the most experience and is probably just the best tanker on Hammerhead that we've seen. I mean, he was. We saw him last season. He was able to just put Thunder Black in the uncap off the A flag. No, no holds barred. I mean, just on his own. It was. That's that, that's an incredible feat on its on its own. Fazio finds an MP7 kill into Master Ruski. As Thauku gonna co come back with the tank. Potato 56 HP. Loku. APS blocks the shot. Potato with another one. Loku with reps. APS popped for Loku as the tanks decide to keep trading shots on near the A flag. Two infantry versus two. It's going to be Neo and Ruski versus Fazio and Brunwell as far as on the, on the infantry battle. Kawaii Cats, or Brunwell, excuse me, will find one onto Neo. While the other person looks like the other battle went the favor of Nafu. Meanwhile, the infantry on the inside still going back and forth. Exactly uh. what we expect to see on this map. It is it is absolutely a bloodbath here and it looks like Nafu is coming out on top but as they push on in we do see those spawns coming out for Legacy Siren is going to be able to come back in maybe get the revive there on his buddy as well so they should be safe there onto that C flag as Emmy is going to try and come in he does get taken down and I think what is there one more left no it has been cleaned up so uh, we do see a complete defense onto that Charlie flag they are going to be all good now does legacy actually push into B or do they just try and hold on defend and maybe go down to this A push because right now they're just about getting this thing grayed out they can gray this flag that would be huge for legacy it's raw attempt on the, on the potatoes tank the flag does go gray legacy with two infantry there against the one of neo or, or one of nafu neo there and the flag is going to go up the way of legacy this is huge for legacy low ku going to push into potato aps hop for both potato with the plow and it definitely looks like it's going to go the way of of legacy but he doesn't have a shell! He oh, has to no. sit there! Oh, low no. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a straw coming back in? Fasia is going to be coming on he in. He gets it! Does so, get him. Yes. So no tank, no infantry onto that A just yet. Uh, Legacy will be able to hold on. But take a look at C, because it is heating up right now. Nafu, they are on the offensive. What are you talking about heating up? That ice is still there. Douglas will go down to Weshit, and Nafu going to continue to push in. Kawaii Cat's on the high ground, just above the flag radius. Drops down. Possible revive, gets the revive into Douglas. More infantry, just duck in, uh, out, uh, in and out of the, of the doorways. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to get a defib kill. Emmy with a triple kill. Oh my god. Knife kill now, as Emmy will bail. Oh my god. Emmy got a triple kill, followed by a knife. Emmy just went full on freaking beast mode there. I mean, that was insane. Now, Audacious Potato back on moving towards the A flag. He's going to have to deal with Brunwell and Fazio. So far, he looks like he's going to have a tough time. And look at the mines moving around the flag radius. Oh, yeah, that is that is uh, that is tough to have to deal with there. But, you know, all this time that we've been talking about this, well, Legacy, they now are in the lead, 87 to 109. Uh, so they are going to have about 20 sec or twenty uh, tickets or so. Not a huge amount, but definitely something that is going to help them out. So Legacy lost the inside. Push, 
Legacy has lost the inside. The push from Nafu has cleared him out. Lucas, the last infantry from Legacy inside, and he'll fall. Legacy needs now needs a new rotation. We see Kawaii Cat's going to go around back towards the back of the B flag. Siren going to go with him. Lao Ku going to move back into a position to help on the, on the A flag itself. Neo on the rooftop. Looking for straw damage against Loku. Oh man, this map is just nuts, Brett. Oh, look at the push that's going to be coming in. Yeah, look at that. Terex is going to be able to pick up one. Looking for two. Can't make it happen. So many players are just going to be flooding on through that tunnel. So this defense is going to be critical. Now we talked about it. B, the toughest flag really to cap. There's just no place really for these infantry players to set up. And the spawns are all over the place when you are defending. So it's very, very rough to get this cap. I almost think that Legacy should just try and bypass B and maybe sneak in over onto that C side of the map. Why can't down in the in the in the bullpen down there? It's killed immediately by Terex. Master Ruski Douglas will kill, can find one kill under rush on the west shit. And Douglas, like you just said, gonna move his way towards C, and that's where they're going. A flag finally gonna go back gray as Neo on flag. Nathu will gray the flag radius. Potato is currently down, but he's gonna get back up right now. Immediately, Loku gonna back Ooh. up. Ice not broken on this side. So Loku inside. This is exactly what we're talking about. He's inside. He's going to clear out Terex. Going to back away to make sure he doesn't get sunk. Legacy possibly going to get the C flag. It's two versus one on the inside as Douglas finds a second double kill on Wet Nickel and Weshit. So Legacy back in the game. And you know, this is what we had talked about. You know, not blowing up that ice. That leaves it open for that team oh, to come on in and yeah. to help out. And that's exactly what's happening. Because not only that, but the tank is also a spawn point. It's a really good mid spawn point to try and go in for that secondary flag that's inside. So A does get grayed out. The tanks are now going to be clashing right here into the uh, A side of the map. And Lokau is going to be able to get that initial shot coming in. But he's down to 31 health. He <laughs> is going to be able to get the kill. But is there anybody there to respond? There's not. And he survives. A is going to stay in Legacy's hands. Loku had that one shell this time, and he says, Potato, we might be point blank, and we've done this before, but this time I've got that extra shell and you're going to go down. You know, Potato, the, the advantage of the U.S. tank against the T-90 is, you know, the, T the, the Abrams is a plow, and you could literally plow that Abrams right underneath the T-90 and get up close and personal and block some shots. And we saw Potato do that a little bit, but I think he actually fully co he actually could have probably fully committed to it. But it is dangerous for sure. And I do want to mention the fact that Nafu, I don't think a, at all a, to this map so far, has even flashed the Delta flag. No. They have been on their side or the middle of the map this entire time. 100% you are so correct. Nafu has been so under pressure on the A flag that they haven't even been able to get around to the, to the, to the, to the D flag at all. Infernus will fall inside as Legacy will lose the C flag to a back push. Kawaii Cats and Infernus are here. Triple... Oh, Weshid will go down. Does he find a double? Kawaii Cats will get Emmy as well. And Legacy going to hang on to the C flag. New respawns on him as well. C flag will be fine. Legacy still with this triple cap. 76 to 36 right now. Legacy looking to pull this one out. Yeah, I think Nafu... I mean, you know, at this point in time, you got 33 to, to 74. Uh, one of the infantry players, I think, in the middle of the map, just go ahead and leak on out to Delta. Just just head on out there. Try yeah. try and get a flash or something. Pull some of these infantry players off of that C flag, or at the very least, maybe pull the tank back so that Potato has an opportunity to get, grab A uh, for your own guys. You know, get some semblance of normalcy back here, but that's just not, not been the case. Legacy has just been a fantastic hold here so far with his DCA. Lots of mines. And Potato will accidentally, or it looks like the slams will go off. And Loku going to have to back off down to 4 HP. The tank in some serious trouble. Potato going to push around the corner. Might have another slam. He does. Potato super low. One more shot. He's Loku's going to miss it. It's raw attempt from um, Loco. Going to bring him down even farther. Potato with 19 HP. One more straw into this tank. Will do it. Any infantry in the neighborhood? No from Legacy. It looks like Brun Wow hanging around in the inside. Maybe, maybe he might be out of uh, rockets. Meanwhile, three flag hold gonna be enough. Legacy with the triple cap gonna do it. 67 tickets to zero. Legacy take round one of Hammerhead. That is a fantastic play from them. And I do wanna mention the fact that Legacy 
was completely pushed out of the middle of the map. They had no infantry presence was in there whatsoever. They were possibly going to be getting four cap there because uh, we did see, um, you know, no presence uh, anywhere else on the map, but they were able to spawn back in. Uh, 50 tickets had been spent and they somehow managed to, to take that win. There was 67 tickets. So fantastic job for them being able to uh, keep their cool. And, you know, uh, this team we saw in that last round that maybe they got a little bit uh, flustered on that Goldman Railway match. You know, they looked like they were kind of just scattered. They didn't they didn't seem like they had a good game plan that was being put together throughout the middle of the map. Uh, but this time, no, that's not the case. They they absolutely knew what they were going to be doing uh, every single time they had a setback. They were like, all right, well, we'll just we'll just push back on in. They did. They were successful in it multiple times. I mean, I got I'm impressed I really am impressed to see how well that they actually made that push up both through that C uh, site when we saw, I think it was, um, I uh, was a Kauai uh, who, uh, who, who put, no, it was Lucas uh, who, who pushed up and he, yeah, he did end up dying, but he did give a lot of time there for his team on the B side of the map to spawn in and start taking that over. And then also later on in the match, when they were able to come in through B and you saw Douglas, he was like, okay, we're just going to go ahead, push on into Charlie and flip it and recap onto the C flag. Both times that they were coming in from really some of the worst positions that you can through those tunnels and they made it work every single time. So props to legacy for being able to just keep their, keep a cool head on and uh, really uh, doing some work on this map. Absolutely. And I cannot wait to see what happens this second round. We're waiting on both teams to be ready to go. Neo calling live. We are immediately going to drop into map round number two here of hammerhead. Both teams ready to roll. If Legacy takes this round, we'll move on to map number three, the tiebreaker map for the grand finals. And oh, man, do I kind of want it to happen. <laughs> I'm, I know oh, some absolutely. teams, I know Nafu, Nafu and their fans are just waiting for, you know, they want that two map, that two map shutout. But as casters and spectators, it is so fun to get that tiebreaker map for a grand finals. 30 seconds on the clock. And I have to once again just go over Legacy's breakout was so strange and i'm still kind of really confused as to how it actually worked <laughs> they would go down 30 tickets they lose the center flags immediately they got wiped by a snowmobile push um and yet they somehow get around to the a flag this is going to be crazy and you gotta think too like if that was successful like if they won that initial fight on the snowmobile down towards bravo how different would that round have been? That would have like, been huge. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all of a sudden we're looking at maybe, you know, a, a hundred plus ticket game in favor of legacy as opposed to just 67. So yeah, the, if this breakout works for legacy, if they're able to really pull it off and do the same damage that they were, you know, for the rest of the map on, on, on uh, round one, this could be scary for Nefu. Well, team's going to rush in immediately. Ben, Sarah and nickel. It's going to be nickel and he's going to get one. Driving through. Does he get a second? He gets a second! Two members of, 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 of Legacy are down, and Nickel's gonna follow it up with Blow in the Ice. Huge opening for, for Nafu. This is exactly yeah. the opening we expected. Terex. For this time, they are oh, gonna be able to get the Oh, Terex finding clutch on the B flag finds a double kill. The B flag possibly not gonna go the way of Legacy as well. This is huge. Lucas needs to get a revive out of Kawaii Cats, and they need to jump on this flag now. Legacy only now just realizing that Terex is there and the flag is actually not going their way. Potatoes on the ice. Legacy has cleaned up him. Uh, Terex. So Terex now down. Legacy will recap the, the the center or the the B flag, and now Potato and Loku gonna engage on the ice. Potato now with a repper. Loku does not have one. Down to 30 HP. APS will pop. Loku still in trouble. Six HP. Need the solo rep the tank. Not a best position to be in. Looking for a straw into the tank. Not going to connect either. Loku will definitely go down. Meanwhile, this is exactly what we were talking about yes, last time. Nafu finally going to make the back cap attempt towards the A. While uh, Brun, Brun Wow on D flag right now. It's long straw down the ice. We'll connect against the tank and the D flag will go gray. So I just want to point this out real quick. In Furnace... Uh, he, well, he ends up uh, suiciding there, but it looked like he was going to be trying to make a play uh, into C flag to kind of get that back cap. So he actually allowed Master Ruski to go by him without shooting at him from a long distance. 
Fortunately, it didn't look like the plan ended up going in his favor. I think what they wanted to do is to make sure that they are going to be securing this B site, but which may actually get grayed out here in a second. Look, Legacy looks like they might be making the C push. Lucas a little... Oh, I don't like this at all, Lucas. What are you doing? You should just go for C. He looks like he's going to go for the flank, maybe indecisive about whether or not to help his team or move or make the uh, the move to the C flag. And now we've got new respawns coming in. Weshed spawns on C flag just in time to show up for Infernus. Kawaii Cat's going to go down too. Lucas oh and Kawaii Christ. will fall. Triple kill. Double kill, excuse me. Terex will clean up Infernus. Meanwhile, Loku getting pushed by Audacious Potato as Legacy going to try to recap the A flag. And Loku getting pushed hard. Master Ruski with another straw attempt. Neo gonna be, it'll be the one that connects. And Legacy down three flags to one. As the bleed will be against them on round number two. Yeah, you know, that, I mean, this is definitely looking great for Nafu, but the one thing that Nafu hasn't done that they did last round is completely clean out the middle of the map. You know, uh, Legacy has been able to hold on with at least one player to get those spawns in, and now C is going to be getting grayed out. B is still being contested, so Legacy is still Ooh. able to be a thorn in their side in the middle. Good flick from Lucas as Weshid respawns in, into the, uh, in the tank room. Lucas will also kill Nicola with a headshot as he comes around the corner. On the staircase. Legacy, could they possibly take a double inside cap? Vencera and Emmy on the C flag right now. Fajo <sighs> falls to Vencera. It's just all over the place as Brunwau comes back in and gets the re revenge kill on Vencera. Nickel respawns off of Emmy. Emmy falls to Brunwau. Can Brunwau find a triple? Nickel hanging around for dear life. G18 out. Loku will find that. Loku? No, no, no. Yeah, Loku. Okay, the tanker's inside. He'll re suicide out. The Z flag is secured. Legacy have taken both inside flags and have their main. The bleed will be applied against Nafu again. Huge plays by Legacy. It absolutely is. We do see Delta starting to get grayed back, but we'll see how much damage they can do in this situation. B is starting to go into the favor here of Nafu once again, as we do see Emmy up top. He's going to be able to uh, push them down uh, from the second level, but uh, not able to get that last kill. His teammate will clean it up. No siren still alive and still able to get that uh, those spawns off in that position. He picks up another one as well. Siren doing work over there on B. And it looks like Legacy has the potential to hold on to this. Meanwhile, it looks like there's some activity on the D flag. Nafu trying to get their main base flag back. Master Ruski and Loku back here. Fejo dropping out the flare. Going to try to distract uh, Potato. Blocking his vision. And I believe I saw Loku driving the tank all the way along the long route. Mm -hmm. So he'll have to engage Loku, and I don't think he even knows this tank is coming. He still doesn't know this tank is coming. He's too busy dealing with the infantry. Tank on the main road. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Tank oh, shell connect, help. and yeah, that'll be it for, for, for Potato. Mm. Master Ruski, the last infantry alive for Nafu on their main. Again, their gimme flag will fall. Naf or Neo going to drive the jet ski all the way from the, <laughs> from the enemy main, or <laughs> the enemy gimme flag all the way back. And the infantry battle has not stopped on the, on, the B, on the B flag at all. No, it has not. It's going to get grayed out. Basically, a two-man setup here for Nafu. They have three dead bodies onto the flag. We'll see if Legacy is going to be able to take them out. But big spawns are going to be coming on in. And uh, Infernus, I think, is going to be meeting with a bunch of them here in this second level as B does get grayed back out. So no cap on it just yet for Legacy. As uh, one man is left alive for Nafu, that's going to be Emmy, who has shown amazing gameplay so far, but it's just not going to be enough as he does get taken down. Terex and Neo, they stuck around. Neo, instead of going to the D flag, went up towards the uh, the elevator shaft, and he will be having the squad bump for Nafu. So a huge play from Neo gets around back. Lucas will find a double kill onto Weshid and Terex in the meantime. Weshid will be revived. Douglas will find a kill into Neo on top of the C flag, and it looks like Legacy is going to be able to fail that push. Meanwhile, Potato tries to push around back. He's going to get harassed by Loku again. Both tanks are disabled. Which tank is going to win? One tank will be destroyed. Loku will Brunwell will bail out of the tank, and both tanks will fall again. Back and forth we go on round number two here on Hammerhead. And you know, Nafu, while they still have a lead, it's only about 10 tickets or so, you have to remember that they have that 67 ticket deficit that you have to tack on to uh, what they have right now. So 
this is definitely not good. They have got to get some kind of a three flag bleed going on here very, very quickly, or they're just not going to be able to take this map number two. Definitely, yeah. I mean, yeah, Legacy down, currently 20 tickets, but that doesn't tell the whole story. You were so right, they're actually up. About 67 tickets on top of that. Legacy, Nafu currently going to drop a couple people on top of the B flag. Their Legacy is going to be able to be pushed heavily here. And they're going to have to defend this flag. Meanwhile, they might just finally get their main base flag back. Oh, <laughs> Loku, finally just seeing those mines and slams on the side of the road, on the side of the building here. He'll pop those. The flag's still not going to go gray as Master Ruski going to hold out the flag against him. Lucas going to swing around between the B flag. They're going to declare that flag lost for Legacy. And they're going to drop into the C flag now. Yeah, and Potato right now, he's he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Like, does he go over for A or does he try and go for Delta? It looks like he's going to go over here. In the, but uh, Lucas is inside. They are going to be able to get that gray out there onto that C flag. And uh, Nafu, Nickel, is doing some work. He's picked up at least one. Still going to be up and alive, looking for number two. Don't think he connected, as he will get overwhelmed. Yeah, Lucas did get revived on that on that on, the, on that upper uh, staircase and that catwalk. And he was able to get the kill into Nickel after the double. Douglas also going to get revived. Legacy will take the C flag. Two flag hold for against two flag hold is is Legacy going to lose the D flag? Finally, after all that time. And I'm sure that uh, Fazio and Brunoa are going to make their way back all the way around there again. It's just the way they play. So now we're back to basically a standard setting. Everybody has their flags on the right side of the map. One flag per uh, in the middle of the year. Do we need to be seeing? Well, wow, wow, wow! Legacy getting aggressive on both sides. Uh, we see a is Brunoa still alive? No, it's Fasia. <laughs> I don't know how he was, but he's still alive there for a while. But he is going to be calling out where the tank is at. Loco is going to go ahead push all the way up onto Delta, so he might be able to catch him out. No, dangerous position. Dangerous position for Loco, and he's going to possibly get flanked. The tank going to swing down on the ice. Going to come back up the hill. Fasio. Going to be in the tank radius. Potato in a better position. Loco getting shot from behind. Misses a point blank tank shell. That is bad to play to miss that shot, that point blank, even on even on Hammerhead with the ice and snow. So the tank will go down for Legacy, and Potato going to walk his way. Walk his way? Drive his way down towards the A flag. And the inside battle continues. So I like this coming in from Nafu. They're going to go ahead, push in from the backside of C. Uh, they might be able to get a couple of flashing uh, on on Charlie to pull some players back. But uh, this this B defense is crumbling really fast right now. Nickel and I think Tarek are the only ones left up and alive uh, to try and hold on to this. So if uh, Legacy gets pretty aggressive here, they should be able to overwhelm them. But as soon as I say that, uh, do we have some like dead spawns come in? I don't know where their players went, but they just completely melted off the map. Well, Neo still the last member alive for Nafu anywhere near the sea flag. He's about to fight 4v1, going to get caught definitely out of position. And the tanks, Potato and Loku, meeting in no man's land way outside of any flag radius. Potato has some backup coming. Kill feed all the way of Legacy right now in the inside. And look at Potato, getting pushed by Loku. The tanks, the ow, oh, Potato missing the point blank shot. I think this is going to go the way of a legacy, though. Is it? Oh, no, it knocks me. Or a potato. Definitely went the way of a potato. Yeah, Loku there trying to get fancy, but Wait, unfortunately... Potato's going to lose the back gonna flag. Happy. The D flag behind him will go for the favor of legacy, and they're going to apply the bleed. Meanwhile, their infantry are all over the B spawn. We could have a four flag cap, Brent. And there it is. is good. Oh, no, this is huge for legacy. Potato in no man's land, all on his own, way behind with flags. Neo's gonna spawn in them, but Loku is gonna have to be up. Is gonna be up to deal with them on the gimme flag anyway. Meanwhile, Fazio and Brunwau gonna defend the D flag, the gimme flag against Master Ruski, and the four flag hold gonna take some massive tickets off Nafu. Yeah, that is uh, that is fantastic if you're a legacy fan right now. So you're they are going to be able to take the lead. Uh, we do see Potato also getting picked up uh, in the tank. So he is not going to be on the A flag getting that burn. His infantry player will. But this is just crazy here on C. Infernus is going to be coming on in. He spots out. I think that was two or three players there from Nafu. But they slowly but surely cleaning this up and winning the burn back. 
Uh, beautiful job here. Loco is going to be able to pick up one all the way over onto their own spawn. And uh, Inferno is still lighting it up here into the middle of the map. They do hold on. They haven't been able to clear out Nafu, but they have been able to keep this three flag bleed. Now they're about 10 tickets in the lead. That's right. And we see Loku just says, you know what? Screw the A flag. We've got the three flag hold. I'm going to stop you from getting re retaking the D flag with your own tank. And I imagine that, uh, yeah, I don't see Brunwau and Phasio anywhere, so they will likely respawn there momentarily. Loku actually has Phasio with them. C flag and B flag burning against Legacy. This could be a huge pickup. Nope, B flag will be fine. C flag going to be possibly picked up by, by, by Nafu as they're down almost 20 tickets. And Sarah watching the elevator shaft. Grenade goes out. Doesn't find anything. Finds one kill into Brunwau. Grenade also kill into Infernus. And they have successfully defended the C flag. Meanwhile, what's going oh. on on the D flag? Brett, this looks like another crazy point blank tank fight. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is nuts. They are absolutely going just round for <laughs> round right now. Both of these tanks not staying died, but I think we are going to be seeing Potato uh, getting picked up. He just overwhelmed with the infantry players, couldn't really hold on there. So I think that was a good move uh, from Loco uh, going all the way up to that Delta site and uh, holding on to it. So. Yeah, I think, you know, even though we were talking about, well, we think that Potato has the most amount of experience here on uh, on Hammerhead. I mean, it's just it's really not gone his way the second round. The coordination between Loku, Brunwau and Feijo has been absolutely fantastic and really the, defi the, the defining factor in keeping Loku alive and help helping to defeat against uh, Potato. And it's really, really, really worked out well for them. Bejo and Brunwell, they know so, they're so good at knowing that timing and when, as to when they should defend the gimme flag and when they should move around and, and go back for another flag. They're so good at helping out their tank. And we see a Potato, way kind of in the distance, kind of in a position where he has to defend, uh, you know, attack the D flag on his own. Headshot kill into Bejo with the HMG, so that'll put him down for about 10 seconds unless he gets revived. Brunwell gonna make that attempt, and there, is, there it is. He's gonna make the swing. And he'll get the one kill out with the ACWR and a Master Ruski. So blows up the Jihad Jeep that was waiting for him. 40 <laughs> tickets left, Gravity. 40 tickets are left in order for Nafu to be able to take this map. So, Inside. Legacy. Inside. B flag will go gray. Huge counterplay from Nafu. Herrick's will find a double kill in an Infernus and Douglas. B flag gonna go the way of Nafu. Meanwhile, that's a two flag cap for Nafu right now. Is Legacy gonna try to counterplay? Neo gonna defend the C flag against Siren, but there's more here. Oh boy. Grenade will go up. Waiting for the revive on the Siren who gets re revived into the grenade. And there's Loku. Ice not destroyed for his position. Able to come inside, do some damage. Emmy will get killed by the tank. Two flags to two. You know, and Legacy is perfectly okay with, with having this 2-2 standoff. Uh, they're, if we just go by bodies, they're going to be able to kill and... Uh, you know, take the win off of it fairly easily here. I do want to point out right now uh, that uh, Nickel is uh, doing a beast job inside. He's 29 and 18, followed up by Terex with 27 and 13. So they're just lighting it up. But it's just, yeah. it seems to not be enough here as they're not getting those flags in their favor. Yeah, when you play 5v5 on a small, on a, in such a small area, it really makes it difficult to stay alive. And just with the respawns and the revives, the numbers were always against you, and just having that fight, it's just so intense. And you have to give it up to these infantry players, because it's, it, is, it, it really is non-stop action for them. There's no time to breathe inside. Neo on the Delta flag. Gonna try to recap. Loku says no. Potato gonna rotate all the way back around. Potato actually gonna come back to his gimme flag. B flag is his. Loku says, nope, you're going to stay on the ice. Long shot will get the one hit under the tank. Second shot will miss. 
Yeah, so we see a gray out over on the Charlie, but I, th I think a very wise spawn bomb happening over onto Bravo. But so far, the B flag is going in favor of Nafu. That's three kills that they were able to make for that defense and not able to secure over onto C. So the middle of the map is completely Nafu. They've cleaned it out. I love Loku, though. Ice not broken, this is exactly why. This is a pro this is why it's a problem. Loku says, okay, the ice isn't broken. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna help my team, I'm gonna push in and, and no. drop off my team. Tank gonna come around from behind. Potato sneaking. Loku pops APS first. Oh my god! Weshin! He just went off there, man! I'm sorry you, you may have missed it, but he went off on like four kill spree. Well tank's gonna engage. Rocket out. And potato will fall, Loku won't! The tank, Loku, will keep it alive. Three flag hold. Nafu not done yet. They're not out of this. They still have about 30 tickets to work with. 25 tickets, really. Douglas with his own triple kill. Scar kill onto Vencera. Nickel and Terex as Infernus will find one on the, uh, on the C flag. Legacy answers back. Okay, th this is doable, Gravity. This is absolutely doable right now. We are going to be seeing that C flag getting taken by Legacy, but uh, if they, if we do have Nafu being able to get another really good hold here, uh, that this is definitely a possibility for them uh, to make it happen. So about 20 tickets left uh, to 54 in, in actuality right now for Legacy. And they are going to be on the offensive over here towards B. We see Loku. Trying to defend against the, 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 the new push from Audacious Potato hiding behind the hover tank. As Potato... I like how they're just... The, the gimme flags. They're just completely taken and ignored by each team right now. Potato and Loku just keep engaging on the gimme flags of uh, wherever Legacy's pushing in on. And it's just, it's just crazy right now. 83 tickets for Nafu. They have 16 tickets total to work with. This looks like it could go Legacy, but it's not guaranteed. 50 tickets could be gone in a heartbeat. This is this is absolutely hilarious. So right now, Loku is just basically... He's just trying to gauge where this tank is going. Right now, they're going to be clashing once again face-to-face. Uh, -face. Infantry, though, support is going to be on the side of uh, Legacy. He does get taken down. Potato... Uh, down to about 50 health or so at the moment. He does get some spawns off on him as well. So this could go actually his way for the first Whoa, time in a while. Potato. And it does. Loku goes down. Potato is going to win if he can survive here. Get this cap onto Delta. Oh, uh, we're nope. also C going down. The flag will be held. As the infantry from Brunwell and Phasio and the respawns will be enough damage to kill the tank. Headshot kill into Terex from Lucas from above. C flag, like, is it going to be defended? It will. C flag will be fine. Ten tickets remaining for Nafu. Forty for Legacy. And that was that was the moment right there. <laughs> oh, Brun Wow, coming into the wrong hallway. And Loku says, "Okay, now is the time we're gonna go for A." There's slams right in front of him. Oh, good destruction. Good, good, good uh, game sense there. Yeah, I think this is going to be over right now. I mean... Legacy? Oh, they're going to get pushed on uh, C, though. But they lose A in the, in the meantime, so Legacy is going to be able to get back that Alpha flag. Maybe if this burn coming in onto Delta is going to be fast enough, but it is going to be one heck of a push coming in. Kawhi is going to be leading that charge inside. Three Brett. players now are going to be alive. Brett, this is going to happen. This is... Legacy are in know. trouble. Legacy are in trouble. 30 tickets remain. Three flag bleed against him. They have nobody else inside except for the except for on the C flag, and it's not going their way. Emmy's gonna get a triple kill. Nickel's gonna get a double. Legacy got wiped out in the insides. Loku needs to jump inside, but the ice is actually broken on this side. Legacy in trouble. There are, oh my god. There are seven tickets for Nafu right now. Twenty-two for twenty. Eighteen. The response. This is the last push for Legacy. They, need the, they just need the gray flag now. This could be over, Brett. Oh, it, it absolutely could. We got a critical 1v1. They, they end up trading it out, so it's not going to be mattering there onto A. Tank is going to be pushing up onto C. They're trying to just run on into Bravo to get the gray out as quickly as possible. Down to Vincera. seven tickets Weshin. right here. 
Wishing finds the double. Brunewell calls GG. Nafu are your grand wow. champions. Wow. For this season of level GG. Incredible match. That is a fantastic play coming in from Nafu. I mean, it looked like they had absolutely no chance, but there towards the end, they definitely turned it up and uh, they were able to take that win. Nickel dropping 40 kills. Emmy following him with 38. 39 for Terex. Oh my God, what a game. Amazing plays coming in from Nafu to be able to secure that one. So yeah, GG's to both of those teams. As uh, again, as you stated, Nafu will be your champions. They have gone completely undefeated this entire season. They've only dropped, I think, one map the entire time. So these guys are absolutely beasts and uh, they definitely do deserve the win here. So uh, once again, guys, don't go anywhere. We do have some announcements that we're going to be making here in just a few minutes. But man, Gravity. Did you expect Nafu to be able to pull it out there in the end? No, I really didn't. I, it really looked like it was Legacy. They had such an advantage. Oh my goodness. Absolutely incredible game. Congratulations to Nafu. Legacy fighting their heart out for that one. It looked so good for them.